Judiciary, the judiciary um, branch mainly hears civic and criminal cases. Well, it's meant to check the other branches to make sure that laws are just and that, and that the president is being moral or he's not being corrupt and such. But I think their main purpose is to uphold the Constitution. Well, I mean, they, they judge the laws that are being passed and they'll declare some unconstitutional if they are or if they interpret them to be. The role of the judiciary, the court system, is to administer justice and interpret the laws. Article 3 of the Constitution establishes a Supreme Court and gave Congress the power to create other courts as necessary. Today, we have three levels of federal courts. District courts, which hear civil and criminal cases, circuit courts, which only hear appeals, and the U.S. Supreme Court, which hears appeals and also serves as the first court responsible for deciding cases involving specific matters, like conflicts between two states or issues involving ambassadors. The Supreme Court also has the power of judicial review. It hears cases to decide whether state and federal laws are in line with the Constitution. If the laws are not, then the Supreme Court strikes them down. Judicial review is one way that the judiciary system checks the other two branches. For a case to get to the Supreme Court, I, I believe it first has to go through lower co courts um, in the beginning, and then after it's gone through um, uh, state level courts, it can petition to have it to have their case heard by the Supreme Court. But because there are so many cases that are being petitioned, um, only a few are actually heard. I know they have a huge docket, like way more cases than they can hear, and I know they pick the cases that. Um, they think will be the most influential or the most significant, um, depending on what the judges want to hear. To answer this question, we first need to understand the dual nature of the U.S. court system. Both national and state governments have court systems. Federal courts have the final say, and cases can be appealed from the state to the federal level. A case can be appealed to the Supreme Court after it is heard by a state's highest court or by federal circuit court. Cases must meet certain criteria before the Supreme Court can hear them. For example, at least four of the nine justices must be willing to hear the case for the Supreme Court to accept it. This is called the rule of four. I guess the idea is that they're appointed by someone who's been elected. So it's kind of you're trusting the person you elected to appoint somebody that will do a good job, I guess. But I mean, not everything's perfect. They get appointed by, they get nominated by the president and confirmed by either the Senate or the House or both, I'm not sure, uh, until they retire or die, I think. That's right. The Constitution gives the president the power to appoint all federal judges. The judges must be confirmed by the Senate. They can hold their office until they retire or die. The framers of the Constitution felt that this would make judges politically independent from the other two branches.